Has anybody seen my abs? <laughs> uh, I've been looking for it. Candace, have you seen my abs? <laughs> they're right there. <laughs> uh, they're, 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 they're pointing in the wrong direction, actually, right now, Candace. So we're going to help you out today. All right. <laughs> it seems like everybody wants to have standout abs these days. I mean, exactly. why not, right? I mean, that makes you look, you look great, right? So fitness expert and friend of the show, Candace McField, is back with us. Yes. And she says that abs are not made overnight, right? They are not. Uh, <laughs> They're made be in the kitchen. <laughs> are they really? <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you must eat clean to have your abs. Otherwise, you'll never see the abdominals, right? And also, you must do cardio to burn the fat over the abdominals yeah. to see them. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we've got your assistant, Cynthia. Thanks for being on the show with us this morning, Cynthia. It's great <laughs> to see you. <laughs> we're going to put Cynthia through an ab workout here? Yeah, you know what? Actually, this is my favorite ab routine that we're going to do today. So, okay. yeah. If you're a beginner, you can start with, like, one set of six. If you're intermediate, maybe one set of 12. And then advanced, you try two sets of 12 reps. But we're going to do six different exercises. So the first one is a mini leg raise. Notice her hands are underneath her glutes. Mm -hmm. She's coming up slightly on her legs and this is working your lower abs. So the next exercise, she's going to bring why, her knees why in. Why does she have her hands underneath her uh, oh, to take backside? The, yeah, good question. So it's basically to take the pressure off your lower back when you're Oh, in so this, it helps your back out. Yeah, it yeah. gives your back support. It feels better doing it that way, right, Cynthia? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so the next exercise, she's going to bring her knees in. It's going to be a standard crunch. So her, her hands will go behind her ears. Now watch as she comes up. She's keeping her elbows back. She's pulling from her her abdominals and not her neck and back to bring her up. The next one is going to be the side abs. Yeah, that one right there, Cynthia, I always, when I've had to do that, I like pull with my hands <laughs> no. on my neck. That's not the way you're supposed That's to do it. That's not how you do it, That's Nick. That's right. <laughs> Cynthia was doing it right. Right. <laughs> so the side abs, so rotate a little bit more that way. There you go. So look at this position. So she comes up, her elbow is going to be right over that hip and working that side ab. So it's a great way to work oh. your side abs, obliques. Oh, Candace, right. that is tough. You feeling that, <laughs> Cynthia? She does. Yes, yeah, she's feeling it all right. So next we have, we're going to do like a little crossover. So she's going to go back to her back, and then one leg is going to go over that knee. And so she's going to crunch up. And then at the end, just do a slight twist towards that knee, oh. right? So now we're working our <laughs> middle abs and also getting some of that cross-plane movement with that twist. Um, <laughs> Cynthia, you picked the wrong day to come on the campus, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I knew she could do it, right? Yeah, that's right. She's doing great. <laughs> doing great. So we have some uh, V-up. So we'll, mod we'll do one uh, regular V-up, and then we'll do a modified version, because this is a very hard movement for a lot of people. Her upper body and lower body is going to come up at the same time. Oh. So one V-up there. Here we go. There you go. One V-up. So Good now, job. Hold your legs up for Good me. Good job. For those that cannot do that position, you can just come here and just yeah. reach for your shoestrings. There you go. So it's a modified position to that V up. And then our last exercise is just to sit up all the way up. So Cynthia will cross her arms over her chest and I'll help her out. So if you have a partner or exercise workout buddy, mm -hmm. they can hold your feet for you and she comes up. And that partner could grab your hands and they could help you raise up if you need to. If you do not have a workout partner, you could put your you could put your feet underneath the couch to help you get up yeah. if you need yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Great job. <laughs> I got Cynthia, you. Cynthia, <laughs> well done. Well, well, well done. done. Are your abs on fire? Absolutely. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we let you go, Candace, yes. um, I know you really want to stress that, again, that this is a, a lot of it is made in the kitchen and also a lot of hard work, as we just saw here from Cynthia. Right. So tell us again, if you're really wanting to, to slim down and you want to try to get your abs, what do you really need to do? Right, so number one, you do need to eat clean. Number two, you do need to do cardio, to, like I said, to burn that fat over your abs. And, and that, is, that, is that intense cardio, or is it going to be I, any... I, um, any type of cardio. I just okay. want you to get in cardio, like whether it's like endurance, like 30 minutes at an even pace or like maybe 20 minutes where you're mixing it up, like high intensity for a minute and then kind of cool back, uh, cool down pace like uh, for one minute, one minute on, one minute off. So I don't really care. Uh, mix it up, honestly, like endurance, even pace versus the intensity. Uh, intervals as well. It, it varies for a lot of people. But it's the yes. last question, and we're almost out of time here. Yeah. But um, like, if you're dedicated, like Cynthia is doing it, she's working out, she's getting her, she's yes. eating clean. When can you expect results? I would say at least give yourself a month to see some a month. Okay. Yeah, of eating clean, working mm -hmm. out. Uh, four to six weeks, you should see some difference in your abdominals. I think two weeks is probably too early, but somewhere in that four to six range, you should see some 
some differences. So as you said, they'll be mm -hmm. pointing the correct, <laughs> the correct position. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> CandiceMcField.com if you have yes. any questions or you'd like to contact her. Cynthia, outstanding job. You thank did you. fantastic. <laughs> Great to really see both did. of you guys. Yes, okay, thank we'll you so much. We'll see you again much. next month. You betcha. For sure. Coming up.